Lying at the heart of Europe is a vast expanse of natural beauty. This is Europe's largest intact floodplain. Twice the size of Portugal, Palacia starts in Poland. The Pripyat River spreads its wetlands across Eastern Europe and flows through the Chernobyl exclusion zone. For decades, much of this area appeared cloaked in secrets hidden behind the Soviet Iron Curtain. In the aftermath of Chernobyl's explosion, large tracts of land were left deserted, and although devastated, nature found a way back. But now, this unique wilderness faces a new threat. Nature lovers and researchers from all around the world are impressed by Palacia's breathtaking natural beauty. The majestic Pripyat River is a lifeblood of the land. Palacia is a special refuge for many mammals, such as bear or wolves or lynx, elks, and wild boars. However, just as soon as this Eden is being rediscovered, it's already being destroyed. Governments want to create a 2,000 kilometer industrial waterway called the E40. This waterway wants to connect uh, two seas, Black Sea and also Baltic Sea. It will damage a lot of ecosystems. The resulting river link will be 25 times the length of the Panama Canal. Building this international shipping route will involve construction work along 2,000 kilometers of river. This could disturb radioactive sludge from the Chernobyl disaster. The radioactive seal will make risk for the water supply millions of people in Ukraine. People are fighting back, and their call to battle is being heard. Experts have established that using the E40 waterway would be slower, more polluting, more expensive, and less reliable than electric rail. The Frankfurt Zoological Society are part of two international groups lobbying investors not to fund this deadly destruction. They are carrying out a major study into Palacia's biodiversity to get UNESCO status and protect the region. It doesn't matter where you are in the Europe or in Belarus or Ukraine, you can vote for alternative development of Palacia. Locals are being trained as tour guides to increase the region's potential for ecotourism. And events are being held to raise awareness. We are doing kayaking public action to raise our voices together with local communities. People are taking kayaking to spend time in the beauty of their homeland. They fall in love with the nature on their doorstep. We are showing the world how much it matters. The battle to save Palacia's wilderness continues. Each year, more and more people unite their voices to defend Palacia. Join us in kayaking tours and our public actions. I hope that Palacia will stay undamaged untouched. It should be protected.